fiasco. Kirk Geiger, BAFTAs. It's literally not a sentence that should go together. <laughs> I've actually been up since the crack of dawn this morning. I went for a walk at Hyde Park for nine o'clock. <laughs> Don't know why we chose nine o'clock. We're really trying to be morning people. Me and my restaurant, Abby. We went for breakfast. It was really cute. I saw a picture in here. Really recommend it if you're ever in London because it's quite quiet first thing in the morning. But I have you here now because I've just had some stuff arrive behind me, which I think you guys are gonna like. And we're getting into all the spring vibes. So wanted to show you we've got some gorgeous we've got a beautiful trench coat we've got a jumpsuit a black little jacket so i'm just going to try stuff on for you because that's what i plan to do by myself so i thought i'd just turn the camera on and do it with you i look a little bit disheveled because i well and truly got torrentially rained on at hyde park and then it's turned beautiful but you win some you lose some just wanted to mention these behind me this is the most beautiful vase and this candle, it's from a brand called, I wanted to introduce you to them because they've got really nice interior stuff. So it's casadelay.com. That's the brand right there. As I said in my last vlog, I want to concentrate on my interior a little bit more. Obviously, if I get to furnish the new flat and I want to make some changes in this flat, just like the cushions and the like vases behind me. So this was perfect. I, I find this beautiful. It's such a beautiful like finish. These are real flowers, so I'm going to try and keep them alive for as long as possible because I tend to kill plants. Although this one's still going strong. I do forget to water it for a couple of months at a time, but it's still going. Right, let's, let me show you what I've got first and then we can, I'll do a little mirror selfie. This trench is stunning. It is the epitome of a spring trench coat and it comes in navy blue too, but look at the bottom of this. <gasps> like what? That is ridiculous. I'm trying not to get it next to this flame here. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. But look at that, it's like tulips into like netting, into like, the bottom is like applique. I love, 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 love. So I thought for those spring rainy days, this was something a little bit fun to like brighten it up. So. It has a belt that comes with it as well. I love these little like hooks that come on it. It really makes it look more expensive. But it's got that strong collar belt. We've got some black buttons, like dark brown black buttons. So it gives you the opportunity to still pair it with black, which is such an easy choice, I think. But even like, I'm gonna say, cause we live in England, it still rains like May, May, June. So this over like a summer outfit, so good so this is a little jacket it's a short one and i know some people hate these or they love them but i enjoy what i enjoy jackets that finish quite high up because i wear a lot of high-waisted stuff so if it's with a high-waisted skirt i prefer them that just finish high higher does that make sense so it doesn't like I feel like it elongates the legs if you've got like a maxi skirt on and then a crop like a more crop jacket it's all an illusion you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> it's got some beautiful, these buttons are silver, which is quite unusual. I really need to get a black bag with silver detailing on, so I can pair it with like silver, when the metal is silver, because I hate mixing metals, it's like one of my pet peeves. Um, in most cases, in most cases, I just received my first Valentine's Day card through the post. <laughs> it is the most adorable thing ever. It's from my nephew. <laughs> He's put like a hundred kisses on it and a hundred stickers. And my sister sent me a video where he's like, it's cause I love Auntie Laura loads. It's like the cutest. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, so yeah, this is the jacket. And I think like for me, I'd wear it with like slim leggings or slim jeans. I'm really looking, I actually have them here. I've ordered some from Holland Cooper. Um, they're like jodput. I'll show you them, hang on. So these are gonna go back to the shop, but I feel like for most people, they'd be okay. So they were these, hang on, I'm not doing it any justice here. I want like the horse rider vibe, you know, with like the jodhpurs and the belt round. I really enjoy it for everyday life because I wear black leggings instead of jeans so much because I just find jeans the most uncomfortable thing ever. So I was looking for a pair of like jegging style, not jegging, like legging style stretchy material with like a belt loop. I can't find one that fits good. So this is... This is high waisted, and on me it's too high waisted because I've got because I'm a short torso girl. 
it comes up around my boobs. So it's just too high for the effect that I want. But if you're a normal proportion person, I think these are really lovely. I just prefer to wear this kind of vibe instead of jeans. Um, like I love the horse riding chic vibe. It's a, a bit of me, <laughs> but I'll try them on for you. I'll pop the picture here so you, or like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll think about this if I, I whatever. <laughs> you get the gist. So this is, this is a top that I got from Wolford. It's a bodysuit. Um, I'm really on the hunt for like this attire, what I've got on now, but something that fits really, really well. So I love this. It's a thong body, which is so good. I like a thong and not like a pant line. Um, but I feel like I want this to be looser. Like I hate necks that are like too suffocating. So for me, I can't, or maybe it would loosen up the more I wear it quite like the cut of it though like it feels quite like a nice cut these are the holland cooper trousers on and i l absolutely love these these are exactly what i was looking for you can't see this but this is a really lady like there's too much fabric here like my crotch is not that low so <laughs> like it's too high waisted like it's too high waisted but everything else like the bum structure on it I feel like it makes your ass look fantastic. So I feel like this is exactly what I want in a petite size, because this is short torso problems. This comes up too high, or like it falls too low. What are you gonna do? So this is something I picked up. This is something that I pictured wearing with like a white pencil skirt for like dinners or like events or something. I just love that slinky off the shoulder vibe. It has this beautiful, gold detailing in the sleeve there but even for like casual vibes with a pair of white trousers and like belly flats or trainers a really beautiful top i think that fabric is gorgeous it's like got like a shine to it um so yeah that was another one i picked up so this one was totally inspired by the black dress with the cape in the last video so I saw this one and I thought it was something a little bit more toned down because I know a cape <laughs> isn't ideal for every day. <laughs> I mean, it could be, but I feel like that might get like stuck in the door, you know? So it's not, it's not that practical. Great for an occasion, but if you're thinking about workwear vibes, I think this is stunning. Even like if you're in a strict office, this with a black suit jacket over the top, but if you took this off, you'd be so sexy underneath, like casual lunch time, and you just walk into the office lunch canteen, or I don't know, I've never worked in an office, I don't, I don't understand what happens, sounds fun though. Um, like imagine if this was underneath your blazer, you'd look so good, so good. I like the high neck, big sunglasses, gold earrings, beautiful. My hair really just is not giving today. <laughs> it was that like fine rain, you know, when it's like drenches you. So blow dried my hair this morning and was like I could have drowned rat within seconds. This is a, I thought it was a jumpsuit, but it's not, it is both. So it comes, oh no, it is a jumpsuit, it's attached. I feel like they're missing a trick there. Maybe you could, um, I feel like you could unpick that to make it two separates if you wanted to. Um, it's a, bandu waistcoat into some trousers you can definitely unpick that if you wanted to i feel like that's the type of thing that i totally do so it's this gorgeous stone cream color and i think this with like some kitten heels for like when it gets warmer really nice like business vibe smart vibe but like kind of casual like this is definitely the kind of style that i love like it's, this is what I mean about London versus the countryside. <laughs> if you are new or you haven't watched the last vlog, um, you won't understand this, but I'm house hunting up north in the countryside alongside living in London. And I feel like this is the difference in the two different styles. Like I could quite easily wear this in the daytime in London with kitten heels. Like if I had a meeting, like for instance, tomorrow I'm going to the Berkeley and the next day I'm going to some other posh, like nice restaurant. Posh, I hate that word, it's such a northern thing to call things posh, isn't it? <laughs> so like, there's definitely things in London where I dress nicely for, but in, in the Wirral where I come from up north, I would just whack a Holland Cooper gilet on. <laughs> and my posh wellies. By the way, I noticed on the analytics 
these are my um worn ones i have bought them twice i've got like a nice pair and a worn pair they say kids riding boots that's what it's called on amazon but i don't know why because they're just normal women's boots like these are a size three normal women's so don't be put off by the fact that they say kids because i don't think they are it's just we i don't know why I don't know why but i just love these especially for the countryside they have that like hermes boot shape to them but in welly material which means you can go for dog walks in them they're just a bit sexier than the welly boot the welly boot is i love that name i love a welly boot <laughs> Okay, so that's my little try on haul. As I said, I'm gonna turn this vlog off here. This just arrived and I just got in and I was like, I'm gonna show you guys before I forget. Um, but this week we, we're gonna go to a few, I've got a few meetings and a few events in London which I really wanna take you along to. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna venture out. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the kettle on now, take all my makeup off. I'm gonna have a chill evening. I'm gonna put on my face mask by Skin Cycles. Favorite face mask, by the way. Um, I'll have a chill pump evening, I think it sounds good. I have got such a busy week on it thought I'd just take you with me. It is Tuesday. I have a shoot this morning followed by a fitting for the BAFTAs and then I have, I'm so jinxed with award ceremonies though, so TBC if I actually get there. I swear, award ceremonies for me get cancelled so often. I like, yeah, anyway, you know the story. But, and then I have the theatre tonight and then tomorrow, I'm going to like a meeting and event with Narcissa Rodriguez and then it's Valentine's Day and then Thursday we're going to see Hobbs new in collection so we've got a lot of stuff on so I just thought I'd take you along this week. I literally have not faked hand in so long that I'm giving dead. <laughs> I feel like I'm just not used to it. I am so pale naturally. Like I look at my body and I look like the raw chicken aisle in the supermarket. That is the shade of my ass. <laughs> like pink. It's just not sexy is it? I wish I could get myself around this headspace because fake tanning is such a hassle but i just wanted to like get really clear skin for this week so it's not like you know when you've got like tan just like hanging on for dear life so i thought i'd give myself a thorough scrub lots of moisturizer and um i have a moisturizer by the way guys that is so good for your body i suffered from really bad dry skin in this fat and like i went through every single moisturizer in boots trying to find one that like did something none of them touched it this one works like a dream my legs feel so smooth again and i like was so getting annoyed about that so i'm gonna share with you later but yeah i'm just off to belgravia this is one of my favorite fragrances go smell it it's called le papier by diptyque it is beautiful um just blow dried my hair this morning but i'm trying not to put any heat apart from like the drop like I, I dry my hair in a cold setting and then not do anything <laughs> so I'm not entirely sure what it's given this morning but we're given dead we're given <laughs> straggle is it, is it is it a vibe who knows okay outfit of the day vibes we have just black skinny jeans um my amazon riding boots which again not kids although it says kids i'm very confused by that um the prada handbag celine belt this is a h&m scarf caramel and coat and a river river island knit which i love it's cashmere and worth every penny like it was a hundred quid but i have worn it so much we've got dior sunnies on the head even though it's raining <laughs> I didn't get my camera out much today at all. I'm just halfway through my makeup with it. I still need to put some lipstick on. I've just put the Dior lip liner on. Actually, I'm having new technique. 
Also, can we just talk about this little finger again? We're having issues. It's happened twice now. The weirdest thing happened. So the reason why that little finger, hang on, two things at once. Dior lip liner followed by Rimmel lip liner. There's a process. I kind of like go in with the Dior lip liner and create like a really smudged situation going on. And then I go in more precisely with this. But um, in the summer last year, like September time, I had an accident in the gym. <laughs> I dropped a weight, a 25 kilogram weight on the little pinky. And honestly, you've never seen so much blood come from a little finger. The, the gym guy that was like the PT in there that was like on, I don't, I don't know, like on, on the gym floor at the time was like, why is there so much blood? I was like, I don't know. It's like all over my face, all on the floor. It just was profusely bleeding. Anyway, little Pinky lost the nail. So this grew back fine. But at the same time, a couple of weeks later, I lost the nail bed of this one in exactly the same place. Like this fell off, so this fell off. It was like they wanted to twin. <laughs> So this one's still growing back, so I only have half a nail, which is why they keep coming off. Because the actual nail's not stuck to anything. So fucking grim. Um, I have been out all day today, so I've just been to a fitting. Did I tell you this? I'm going to the BAFTAs on Sunday. And it's actually happening this time, because you know how I feel about awards ceremonies. <laughs> They always like to cancel, so but we are going, and I had the fitting today. Um, I haven't showed you the dress that I'm actually going to wear in this video, so tune in for the next video to see what I chose. It's stunning, it's going to be gorgeous, and I just went with something so feminine, so pretty, beautiful colour, beautiful diamonds. <laughs> it's going to be a real Cinderella moment, trust me. So I'm super excited, we're going to do the red carpet, and um. Yeah, I'm now off to the theatre. Have I got this on right? This is another 100 stars room. I've actually accidentally bleached this one right here though, which is so sad, but this is kind of like my makeup one, so I'm allowed to get this dirty. Um, so it's nice to have one that you can like fake tanning and stuff. This can be that one. But yeah, I'm off to the theatre tonight to see Cool Intentions, which I'm super excited for. You guys know I'm an avid theatre goer in London. I think it's one of the best things about living in London that you've got so many theatre options. There's something so nostalgic for me about going to the theatre. Do I have to leave soon? Yes, I have to leave in 10 minutes. Um, so I like to make the most of it. And I, I really miss the day. I feel like the theatre you should dress up for still. I'm not going to dress up tonight because I feel like it's it's not a... I don't think it's on the West End. I think it's just a, a, like a normal theatre. But the West End shows I really like to dress up for. The Bali particularly, I absolutely... Uh, if you want like a theatre in London where you go and get dressed up for, go the Bali, go see the Nutcracker at Christmas or something. And um, yeah, I really wish like people had to dress up for stuff still. It keeps like the the fairy tale alive, you know? And sometimes we need a little fairy tale in our life. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> Guys, we're just watching Cruel Intentions. It's good, it's funny, I like it. It's really cool. This is the whole situation. I've got the snuggliest knit on and I'm sweating. Happy Valentine's Day guys. It is the cutest Valentine's Day because I've just received <laughs> a Valentine's Day card off my nephew. It's the cutest. He's used his favorite stickers. Absolutely adorable. Just off for breakfast in the Berkeley, which I've actually never been in and I've always wanted to. Um, with Narciso, 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 why can I not say that? <laughs> Narciso Rodrigo. It's too early in the morning. Um, just putting Dior lip oil on the lips. I love when I've got my hair back because I can go in with the juicy lips. Um, I just got something to tell you guys and I don't know if I should because it's disgusting. <laughs> should I tell you? So you guys know I've had my dead mice when I moved into this flat all under the fridge. And then I had a rat just before Christmas, I think it was. Um, I've had pest control out four times. In fact, I had pest control out 
the other day because I saw a mouse whilst I was sat on the loo one night. <laughs> it just shot past and I was like, <laughs> did I just see that? And then the other night I was running a bath and another one shot past. So I was like, there was definitely a mouse problem here. So I had pest control around and I don't think they do anything. Don't think pest control does fuck all because I went after the mouse incident on a whole Monica from Friends cleaning spree. Like I turned into my mother for a split second and like blitzed the whole flat, like cleaned like there's no tomorrow. And I just hoovered underneath. I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna switch the couch cushions around because you know, there's a bit of a dip happening where my ass is like my favorite spot is happening. So I was like, I'm just gonna switch the cushions over, like the couch cushion, like the bottom of the couch. Oh my God, there was so much mouse poo underneath the couch cushions. And I was like, okay, that's not good. And then I moved the couch and in the shape of where the couch is, it was literally covered in mouse poo but no mouse poo anywhere else. It was if they just chose the couch. Vile, vile, <laughs> so disgusting. Sorry, I can't put that thing on the internet. Um, I'm gonna take these off today and go for my natural nails and get by up. No more extensions because it's just like, I can't be living with this. It's, we're going natural. Um, so I'm gonna go now, I'm gonna take you to the Berkeley, so it should be cute. And I, that's what I was gonna say. I bought, I didn't wanna kill them. That was the problem, that's why they've kept coming back because I, I refused to put poison down. Or like, yeah, I just didn't wanna kill them. It's not their fault, like I felt really bad. Like I can't even kill spiders, like it's not their fault, they're scary, you know? Um, but cause it's got, got a health hazard situation, I've had to put it down. And like, I got these repellents, which are meant to repel the mice and the rat. And it fucking stinks, it like, I can, it's burning my nostrils. My flat smells of heat rub, that's the smell. It's so potent, like it makes my eyes water. So I put all these sachets around the house, around the flat last night. And I left some poison, but I put some poison around the outside of it just to see if they would eat it. Like if I'd, I'd know if they'd been there. So it turns out they've come and they've eaten the poison. So those rat repellent things are doing nothing because they still are here. <laughs> so oh, it's just such so a, the amount that I pay for this flat is actually disgusting that I have a severe rodent issue. And it's, give you a tip, don't live, I live around lots of restaurants. Um, I'm on like a strip, so it's just a food area. Don't do that if you are scared of mice. <laughs> just wanted to show you the outfit before I leave. I've just gone for all black. We've got the Paris, Texas boots, Prada handbag. I've just got like a mango blazer on with this belt round. Dior sunglasses, even though it is torrentially raining. <laughs> I just like them as a hairband, like to keep my hair, I hate having my hair in my face, which is why you quite often see my hair up. But um, yeah, this is just a really simple look, which I, I just think black looks so good. So guys, just trying out the new Nossis or Rodrigo's fragrances. We have Muse Nude, which is like a beautiful, fresh smell. What scent has it got in it? This has got a heart of musk. Heart of musk. Tonka bean. Tonka bean. Oh. This has got jasmine and orange blossom. Jasmine and orange blossom. And this is the one that smelled like fresh towels, right? Yeah. It's got like really fresh daytime oh, yeah. smell. And this is the new one for men. It's called Vetiver Musk. And I actually, this is my smells the nicest it's beautiful it's like a really gorgeous clean fresh man smell and the bottles together so so nice my favorite is yeah it's called muse noir rose and it there was original right this one's the, this is the original musk noir and this came out in 2021 so this is the 2022 version and it's the muse noir Musk Noir. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's my favourite. I've sprayed it. It's 
finish with Narciso, Narciso Rodriguez and I'm going to go for a quick shop around Harrods. This bathroom is so beautiful. Can we just talk about this for a second? So <laughs> the sun is shining and I'm off to go get fitted for this weekend so I actually have two BAFTA events this weekend it's gonna be a beautiful weekend full of gorgeous dresses celeb spotting and just red carpet it's gonna be incredible so I've got the BAFTA pre-party I think it's the natural museum on Saturday night and then the next day at 2 p.m. it starts the actual BAFTAs through to the actual sh I've got the pre-drinks at the Corinthia and then the red carpet the got the actual show and then we've got like a, a dinner afterwards so it's gonna be incredible and Isabel Christensen are dressing me for the entire thing so I get to basically wear beautiful ball gowns all weekend the this princess is finally getting to go to the ball so I'm gonna go this morning and we're gonna try it I've already got my dress for the actual BAFTAs it's this gorgeous like turquoise um, massive trick like a beautiful skirt it's just stunning the ballerina in me is dying like honestly it's so beautiful um it's got like this tall material hence the ballerina vibes but i'm gonna pick my dress for the saturday night today so i thought i'd take you with me and then i'm going to the gym and then i've got another meeting so put my makeup on this morning i'm gonna hope it lasts throughout the day I have a habit of doing this and just Esther, Esther Lauder Double Wear. I literally just put it on in the morning and it sees me right through the day, whatever I have planned, whether I sweat, whether it's raining, whether I want to go swimming even. It just stays on. So if you want something like that, Esther Lauder Double Wear followed by Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder, you're good to go. I like it small, but this like in, I think it looks small. Who, who cares about walking? <laughs> <laughs> the black underwear. <laughs> the wrong choice of underwear today, <laughs> for sure. Get it off. Uh, my number one so far is the pink one. Well, wait until you try this. Number that, two. I think. Number two. <laughs> Let's get this one off. Very important, you have to create some shape here. So just underneath here, we would create a little, so that you have this shape. You see what I mean? That's like curvature. Yeah, I like that pink color. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go, we'll try some on, just for you to see. Yeah, let's... Oh. Were they quite large? <laughs> okay. I told you this was going to be the biggest one. The others fit you more closely. Can I have one of my strip dresses in this one? Yeah, he's quite big. I'm not joking, I'm, I'm getting to strip me. That's the ambition. Oh, is it like that? We'll try one of the other suits whilst we're in the suit bay, and then we'll try this dress. Love this fabric. So good. A few steps forward for me into the light, just so we've got some more room to pin. You see how you're seeing leg? Yeah. Right, so the leg will show more prominently, or we can do a slit. I think slit would be fantastic. How do you feel, though, in it? Nice. As a style and as a look. I think we can shorten this front bit. I'll I pin think... If this was here with a leg slit, I feel like it See how this one? It Remember that one? See through this one. The, the inspiration for this design was to give you the presence and the power of a ball gown, but with the ease of wear of like a small mini skirt. You see how it works? Spectacular. I feel like it's such a talking. 
and there. Look. If you're sat on a chair and then you've just got the whole billy wig fabric. Perfectly fine to say that. <laughs> Wear my platform to this so I'd be taller. Yeah, absolutely. Any, any tricks of the trade like that that you want. I hate, I hate platform shoes, but when you can't see them, they work. Be forward? Yeah, I could. Your, so, your I mean, when, it, when it's done, we cinch it in on the waist. You can imagine how the fit is going to be so perfect. It's yeah. just going to be beautiful. I like this. Cool. It's so fucking strong, isn't it? If I was to walk in now and say Laura put on a dress on, I'd either go for this one or the, the this one. For some reason I wouldn't put this one out of the three. Oh, is that your favourite? It's my second favourite. This is your favourite. <laughs> I think this one. Step again forward for me if you can. That's another thing too, because this would be higher up. Lift your feet. That would come up higher like that when we do it for you, so we'd actually roll the fabric, have that skirt start, start up a little higher. I mean, it is so striking, isn't it? It's so beautifully striking. Good morning, guys. I am off to a shoot day today, and I am so tired because I had a rat mouse fiasco last night. I literally can't even, I can't. I don't think I can tell you what happened. It was disgusting. I went to the, oh. Can't tell you, but here we go. Let me tell you. <laughs> I went to the loo in the middle of the night and I turned the light on and there was rat mice all over the fucking sofa. I like I can't. And I say rat mouse because one of them was quite ratty, like it was quite big and the others were small and the pest control said I have had a rat before and the last time he said it, he got mice. So I think now I've got both. Like it's not okay. Top tip, do never, ever, ever live above a fucking restaurant. Sorry for the language, but this morning I am not okay. <laughs> I am shooting with Sophie Herman this morning. You guys might know her. She, it's like such, I feel like this is the duo you never knew you needed. So we're shooting for Kurt Geiger this morning. I'll show you bits and bobs when I get there. But yeah, rat mouse fiasco. Kurt Geiger, BAFTAs. It's literally not a sentence that should go together. <laughs> home we just finished shooting with Kurt Geiger this morning it went really well I couldn't believe how much me and Sophie like we matched in height I just popped on I've got a little mini I've got like an hour to myself before I have to start getting ready so this evening I'm going to the BAFTA nominee party at the National Museum which is the hottest party in town tonight and I can't quite fathom how I've managed to wangle myself an invite but we're, we're here we're living life. Um, this is the Skin Cycles mask that I showed you in the first vlog of this year, which is all about my skincare and stuff. Um, it's the brand of skincare used or made by the Holly Street Injectables. And they tried a load when I was there and I did not break out. And I have been using their, every, their SPF, which is SPF 100, and I've used it daily. And my skin has not had any spots. So it's a brand. If you're a sensitive skin gully like me it is a brand that i have been loving i really don't look cute in this do i <laughs> i'm trying to make it work but it's just not um so i thought i'll have a cup of tea in the bath and chill before the mayhem starts again this morning i have literally been shooting this morning bond street regent street oxford street the coke Geiger store i then went into the dress fitting i got my dress fitted for tonight and tomorrow again like 
the Isabel Christensen fit it seamlessly to your body. So if you want a dress that is catered specifically for you, I think there's such a big difference about wearing like things completely tailored to yourself. Highly recommend. Like it's a dream, the dress that I'm wearing. My favorite one is tomorrow, the BAFTA one, the, the green one, or like turquoise. Oh, it's stunning. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. But yeah, thought I'd have a little debrief. Got a hairdresser coming at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so God knows what I'm gonna time I'm gonna get in tonight. And if I see Rat Mouse tonight after I come in, I don't know what I'll do. I literally blood curdled scream last night. I feel like my neighbours thought probably thought someone was getting murdered. Oh, you've never seen so many mice shoot out of a couch. I'm gonna have to get a new couch. I feel like I might have to move.